Good morning. I am so glad you're here. If you're new to Cheers by Sarah, I am Sarah, and I thank you again for being here with me today. I put a video out every Wednesday in hopes to motivate, inspire, maybe make you laugh while I drink my coffee, wine, tea, whatever I'm drinking. On Saturdays, I tend to put out um, strange stuff. I'm calling it strange stuff with Sarah, but I'm not sure that's going to stick. Anywho, um, that's what it's for now. Um, if you're into any of that, please hit that subscribe button below because I would love to see you back. Now, today's video comes with a warning. Most of my videos do. I occasionally use strong language and sometimes my subjects aren't suitable for children, so parental discretion is advised. By Sarah. I feel it's important to discuss some of the things that have been said on my divorce series. Um, when I first started YouTube, I had zero followers. I, I just was kind of bored and I was enjoying just getting it out there. Um, I have cheers to women, cheers to wives and mommies, and cheers to my divorce. Um, I've gotten some hate about the cheers to my divorce. Actually, all three of those series, which I have no idea how, but um, about my divorce series is, is the one I've gotten the most hate on. And I want to say this. Um, in a non-poetic fashion, it's okay if you don't like what I put out, and it's okay if you didn't agree with what I said. However, um, non-poetically, I'm going to break this down for you. When a person gets a divorce, when they weren't ready to get a divorce, when they were in it, a hundred percent in the relationship okay and you find out your husband is cheating spouse is cheating whatever it breaks you it gives you some kind of shattered feeling inside of you that you can't stop I'm over my divorce but just talking about it gives me that feeling again. Um, the I'm not good enough feeling. The he replaced me feeling. The he didn't love me as much as I loved him feeling. Okay? Um, it's not right for someone to have to go through that alone. And I put my stuff out there simply because I don't want people to go through life alone. Going through life alone is not the right way to do it. it. It's impossible to do it with a positive attitude. And if you have negative people around you, it's super impossible. So I try to be that positive person to give people who feel alone, to give them the chance to feel they're not alone because you're not alone. Um, going through a divorce, trying to figure out how to find you, trying to figure out how to get what you want out of this life, you're not alone. We are all actually in it together, even though it doesn't feel that way. And that is part of my point of my YouTube channel. My number one goal is to make someone feel less alone, someone feel more understood, someone to know that they aren't the only ones going through whatever it is. I will talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. I will talk about it openly and honestly, and I am not afraid or embarrassed of things that have happened to me. I am who I am because of those things. It took a whole lot of self-reflection on a whole lot of help, but I got through it. And I just want to put that out there that the hate I'm getting even still to this day on my divorce series is crazy to me. It's, it's okay for you to disagree with me and it's okay for you to not watch my videos. I understand. However, the people that have watched my videos that will watch my videos and 
maybe even after I'm dead, the people that see this will know that someone else went through it. My divorce broke me. It broke who I was inside. It made me feel inadequate as a person, as a woman, as a mother, and as a wife. Okay? It was no, it was, there was no respect in it. There was no dignity in it, the way it all went down. None. And for someone I loved for 12 years to sit there and not give me respect at the end of all of that was the most tragic part of it all. Um, as far as I know, he is in love with the girl and with the woman. And she and him are a happily ever after type of shit. And I'm happy about that. Um, I want nothing more than happiness in this world. And, and they are happy and doing well. They have two beautiful babies from what I've heard. And, um, yeah. But it took a lot of work and a long time to get to that. I was not happy. I was a shattered human being. And in some ways, I feel like it changed me for the better. And in some ways, I feel like it changed me for the worse. And I'm jaded. I don't trust love. I don't trust men as much as I did before after him. So that's just how it is. Now, I, I want to say there is light at the end of the tunnel. And, and when it first happens to you, you don't see any light. It's nothing but darkness all around you. You can break free from that. You can get through that. And you'll be happy again. You will be happy again. You just got to keep on working at it. Every day will get just a tiny bit easier. I have lots of love and thoughts go out to you all that are going through a divorce. It was a hell of a ride. Um, I went through the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm not kidding you. Oh my gosh, I made mistakes. So many mistakes trying to feel, fill that void that nothing could fill but me. I was a little promiscuous. I, um, it wasn't worth it, but it was, I guess it was a step I had to take. I don't know, but it, I took it. I screwed up friendships. I screwed up relationships because I, I think it has to do with being still fucked up. I'm fucked up. You know, it messed with me. Love has a whole different, love is a whole different priority to me now. And I'm trying to fix my mistakes now that I've, I've come clean. Um, I'm living a celibate life, I, which is weird um, in a lot of ways, but celibacy has been something that brings me power. That's not saying it's for you, but there's something out there that's like that. Celibacy has given me the power to love who I am, to accept who I am, and to get to know myself better and to have different priorities. Um, when you take sex out of the equation, for me, it was like, I guess I don't need a relationship. I've got my friends for companionship. I like to sleep alone anyway. Yeah, it's the way I need to live. And so far it's working out amazing. I've had temptations, but it's not changing it. My point is, I'm not trying to even get on the celibacy kick. The point is, is a divorce 
can throw you up in the air just like you're in a frying pan. And you don't know how you're going to land. It's crazy that it's in your power how you're going to land, though. You just got to notice and recognize that. I, I remember all the inside jokes I had with my ex-husband, all the funny things, all the fun things, all the great things, but I also remember all the bad things, all the shitty shit things, and we're both better off without each other. This is years later, guys years later. It took a long time. And it's okay. Everyone heals in their own way. Divorce is no joke, though. Separation is no joke. Some people really take that shit hard, and I am one of those people. It was rough. It's the list. Um, not the fact that I'm not with him. The fact that I am jaded. You know, I've been in a few relationships. I fell hard. I fell hard for one man, hard. And um, it didn't turn out, man. It didn't work out. And with it not working out, especially the way it didn't work out, it pushed me to the point of celibacy. I can no longer... I can no longer open myself up as well as I could before. I'm still sensitive. I'm still full of love. I still show love. It's just not going to be in a relationship anytime soon. If a man could push through all my walls, all the guards, all the moats with dragons and fire <laughs> that I have built, then maybe... But I highly doubt it. I don't know any man around my age who would be willing to do that. Um, so, yeah, I'm out, man. I'm out of the dating game as of now. And so far, it's working out for me. I truly am happy. You know, I think that it's important to give yourself what you need for you to heal when you're going through a divorce or a major breakup, a separation, any of that. You have to give yourself healing time and space. And yeah, that's the number one goal is be patient with yourself. You are going to make mistakes, I'm sure. And if you don't, you're more of a woman or man than I am. And if like six months, okay? You got six months tops before I really feel you're ready to date again. Men seem to date way faster than women. Um, there's actual reasons for that. Um, like psychological wiring reasons that men do that. So don't take that as um, a put down, as a stab. Because frankly, he's just trying to feel, fill, frankly, he is just trying to fill a void that he didn't have filled. It's, it's, it's empty and it's, he's not going to find it the way he's trying to. And if he does, yay, because that's another human being finding happiness, even though he's a doucher in your eyes, right? Or she, even though she's a doucher, I get it. Um, when I found out my ex-husband was still with the woman that, um, he cheated on me with, I remember feeling like my heart was like squeezing. I don't know how to explain it. It was just like, oh, it stopped beating or something. I don't know. I remember just feeling so much pressure in my literal heart because of it. Like, 
what does she have that I don't? Well, guess what? A lot of shit, because she's not me, and I'm not her. She has shit I don't have, and I have shit she doesn't have, and it's all great. It's all beautiful. It's all amazing, and yay. I'm happy with my life. I'm happy as a single woman. I am happy sleeping alone. Some women aren't, and that's okay. Some men aren't. That's okay. When you are the, not the reason, when you are not the reason for the breakup or the divorce, it's a whole different level of what the fuck. And you got to give yourself a minute to un what the fuck it in your head, in your heart. And it's going to, you're going to get there. You will get through this. You will be okay, and you will be happy. If you have any subjects or questions you you have for me or, or anything, you just let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have a story you'd like me to cover, let me know that as well. I love you. And thank you very much for spending some time with me today. You will get through this. As always, spread love and kindness today. Cheers. It's Cheers by Sarah.